Good morning, YouTube. Reseller Mom here. Welcome to today's video. Today we are starting off in the back of my car. Just really quick, I wanted to show you that I've got three, six, seven partial shipments getting ready to go to the post right now. It happens. You get partial shipments. My take on it is I let them kind of fester for about two, three weeks, and then I'll do a big clean sweep and get everything shipped out, organized, and just get them out of the office because I don't really want them sitting there for more than like two weeks because prices fluctuate and everything and I need to get it re you know hit the restart button so I got everything packaged up yesterday got uh, all my partial shipments done now I do do a little partial little bit of shipment manipulation uh, you know, the ones that are just single items, I will try and see if I can get them grouped into something else. But you don't want to do too much because Amazon is not really happy if you do shipment manipulation. Nobody's seen like a... Hmm, their algorithms on what qualifies for that have not been really determined. And of course, they're always changing. So I just do a couple. I probably knocked out, I think, three out of the seven. So I went from 10 shipments down to about seven. So it does help out a little bit, uh, money-wise, for spending on shipments. So I got these all ready to go. We're going to go to the post. I got a bag of donations right there. I'm going to stop at the post. Here, let's get in the car hold. It's a little chilly to be standing out there. It's 39 degrees in the car, getting it warmed up, getting ready to go. So we've got a couple errands to do today. I've got to get all those partial packages to the post office, get them out of the house. Got the office all cleaned up with all my stuff getting shipped out. I could vacuum the carpet, which was much needed. Uh, got a bag for donations and then at my storage unit, I have a chunk of items that I want to go bring down to the Value Village as well. Then... We are going to go donate blood. That's the other thing on the list today. There's a huge blood shortage. So on my Instagram and Facebook, I'm trying to repost anything that is resource and informational so that uh, if you can donate blood, you know, it helps you out. I believe the app was called Blood App and it was really easy. I installed it on my phone. I was able to find a place find and book a, an appointment real easy. So if you can donate blood, that's good. Other resources I'm posting have to do more with uh, children and learning materials and where to get le free learning materials and or resources that may help you, such as Cox Communication is not going to shut off your internet for 60 days. I think I posted a link to that program on my Facebook. Um, just things like that. It's been a crazy, another crazy, you know, day or two. I now have, I believe, all the family pegged to be at home this week and my daughter's online school said something about they will be shutting down as well, but we're going to get another informational thing on Monday about that. So that's interesting. Where was I going with that? I was going with some. Oh yeah, so since everybody's at home, I wanted to make sure that my Amazon subscribe and save delivery scheduled for the next couple of weeks had the toilet paper in it and other, you know, I think I get paper towels, dishwashing stuff, yeah, you know, Tide Pods, etc. automatically delivered. Uh, I went on there to check the status and a lot of those things are out of stock. Uh, so I won't be getting my deliveries unless they get in stock within the next week or two here. So that's concerning. All right, so to sum up, we're gonna go drop off the post. You guys don't need to see that. Drop off donations, y'all don't need to see that. Give blood, you probably don't need to see that either. <laughs> and then I'm gonna hit up Target and possibly the dollar store tree here and see what kind of supplies they have and I have three returns in the car so we're gonna go down and do errands we'll see where the day takes us you never know where the day is gonna take you when we have these types of apocalyptic things going on I mean boy we've never really dealt with this so we'll just have to see how it goes all right let's get moving recording uh, just went into Target. That was a quick trip. They do not have toilet paper. They've got lots of cleaning supplies. They've got wipes and they've got feminine care. They've got lots of paper towels out front, but they are, they sold out of toilet paper last night. So that's interesting. It is being harder and harder to find. I hope the companies are getting that stuff out ASAP, but now it is time to go off and donate blood. And then let's see here, I did my drop off at the post, did my drop off at the Value Village, and then I gotta look at the returns and see which store I'm gonna go to after giving blood. So we'll see you then. Okay, I've driven six minutes down the road, and as I was leaving Target, 
big fire truck came in, no idea what's going on there. And then there's a cash and carry, which is now called Food Services of America. It's like a smart and final, it's kind of restaurant supply. The parking lot for that was like overflowing and people were being kind of crazy trying to get into there. So they maybe they have toilet paper, I don't know. I'm gonna get blood and then I think I'm gonna pop over to Lowe's across the street and see, just go to look around. Every once in a while, I find retail arbitrage stuff in that Lowe's. It has a pretty good clearance section, so I'm kind of excited about that. And then I'll go do my returns. I am done giving blood and I got to have a cookie and some orange juice. We're inside Lowe's and I just thought I'd point out that the bidets are $300. Packs of toilet paper are going for $100 on eBay. For $300, you can eliminate having to use toilet paper, it looks like. What did the side do? The side said, uh, wash, don't wipe. But they still have them in stock, so we're not at critical level here. Haven't made it to cleaning stuff yet, but I was trying, oh, the clearance area that I was intending to go to has been moved or no longer there. So one of my favorite things to look at is possibly curtains. These prices are pretty good. 16 down to six. So I'm gonna go ahead and do some scanning here. And then we've got some yellow tags on the organization aisle too. Yeah, I'm gonna give these a quick scan and see if there's anything here. Like Living Logic, I don't think is gonna come up. Waverly might. We'll see. I found one curtain set that had okay rank and the margins were really good. I think it's buy for seven. I'm gonna make $10 profit. It was the best out of all of them. The rest had really high rank of over a million or more. So I passed on that and I looked at the keep chart too. So now on to these guys. When I'm here, when I only see a dollar difference, I'm not going to scan that. That's not enough. I need to see at least half most likely 70% or more for me to even scan it. And after giving blood, I'm a little wobbly. So I'm gonna try and walk and shake this off, get some strength back and not be so shaky. So apologies if the camera's a little shaky. I am all done with Lowe's and two things. So first I got the curtains. So at least I found something in there to sell, right? Did not find any toilet paper, they're out. Word on the street, <laughs> according to the cash register, Barbara, is that Home Depot down the street does have toilet paper, but it's right next to Costco and that's kind of like a war zone. I ain't, I ain't, no, not going in there. Just driving by gives me the heebie-jeebies. So no way, Jose. She also helped me get my account set up for tax exemption. And what I did was I just Googled it really quick before going up there. So I kind of knew the outline of the process. And then I went up and just was, you know, polite and said, hey, I'd like to take care of this. And she, you know, took a copy of my reseller permit typed everything into the computer and now I am linked up with my phone number so next time I go to do a purchase and I want it to be tax exempt I can just tell the cash register people my phone number and they can look up my account and take off the tax so much needed to be done I've been trying to get those done slowly but surely I've gotten Walmart Staples Office Depot Home Depot Lowe's all have you like in the system so some of the other stores I got to do it each and every time when I go there. Uh, Burlington, I'm in the system. TJ Maxx, I'm in the system. Marshalls. Ross doesn't take it. Tuesday morning, I got to bring my certificate and sign a little paper every time I'm in there. So each store kind of has their own way of doing it. You can start familiarizing yourself with that if you are going to be purchasing a bunch of stuff and you want to not pay taxes on it because you pay taxes on the, the sales side. Okay. So I have a return at Ross and I will show you what that is real quick. It is a Under Armour workout bra. Turns out I'm restricted. Amazon has locked down the new listings for this. So I could sell it used and I don't really do that. I just return it if I get stuck in that. Usually I check, but obviously I missed one. So we're gonna go to Ross, get that returned. It happens a lot with Under Armour stuff is that Amazon locks down the new listing but allows you to sell it used even though you, you may be un, ungated in that. Now optional. I don't know what that is about. Um, where was I going? I get messages and then I, my attention gets grabbed. We're off to Ross. Next to Ross, there's a bunch of stores so we'll see where the day cakes us. Still a little shaky after giving, giving the blood. Uh, so maybe I should grab something more to eat. I did take an extra cookie for my purse. They said I could have as many cookies as I wanted. I, I took two, 
but maybe that will perk my system up because I am feeling a little drained. <laughs> All right, let's get going to Ross and see what we can find. All right, guys, I am done for the day. And I know there's been a big cut, cut here. So let me fill you in. Let me ramble for a few minutes on what has happened in the meantime. And then we're going to scan bras together and I'll show you what I bought because uh, that's pretty much the main thing that I got today was bras. So where did I leave you guys off at? We left Lowe's and Lowe's was fine. So I went to Ross, re did my return, walked around the store and I had been there not too long ago. There was nothing really worth scanning. It was quite depressing and kind of crowded. The good things are the lady at the front was wiping the carts down as people came in. So that was really good. Okay, so I popped into World Market next door and just did a quick walk through there to see kind of what they have. I've seen other people have success retail arbitrage with Cost Plus World Market. I never have, but I wanted to pop in just see what they had. Nothing there. Went to Bye Bye Baby, which two things. One, my brother just had his baby, so I'm super excited. I really want to go see it. Uh, it's a bummer that ASD got canceled, but I may still go. We'll see. We'll see what the travel looks like by the end of the week. So Bye Bye Baby had, again, cart wipes, sanitizer everywhere. A lot of people were, well, I overheard people discussing that they were going to just do their baby registry stuff online. So a lot of people are moving to online sales, which is good for us, right? There was a lot of baby wipes, baby formula, and baby diapers still on the shelf. Now, it was all pretty expensive. There was no sales or anything, so I didn't wind up getting anything. Um, and I, you know, if there's not a shortage or anything, my, my brother says he's pretty good stocked up on diapers. And I have one pack of cute panda diapers that I came across. So there was nothing for me to get for my new nephew. And then there was nothing to resale there. They had very little to zero clearance today. And then I was a little perturbed. They have now started putting big red stickers on their tags and the clearance closed. And the clearance closed didn't have great price points. Uh, you know, it was like $20 Carter outfits marked down to $15, $16. So the margins just weren't there. Okay, then I went over to Tuesday morning. I had high hopes for Tuesday morning. And then I, as I was going through there, I remembered it is a store that I scanned not too long ago. So it was pretty empty. I found about five puzzles. There was something else. Five puzzles. And I can't remember. But I only spent $50. So it really wasn't very much at all. Now, my friend and I, we were, we were having fun brainstorming. Like with all this quarantine and people working from home, what are all the things that people are gonna be buying online that are not going to be in the group of price gouging. So I kind of am going to stay the heck away from sanitizer, face masks, soap, um, toilet paper, any sort of commodity that Amazon, the government, anybody could deem as a gouging, not nice thing to sell. With that being said, there's a lot of things that people might be buying online because they are working from home more and they've got the kids at home. So we were thinking about things like wireless mice, mouse, wireless mouses, I think. Anyhow, you know what I mean? Might have an uptick in sales online, things like that. Um, maybe back support. If you're working at your kitchen, kitchen uh, table, you may be getting seat cushions or back support or lumbar support type of items. There is a slew of them coloring books, puzzles, games for the kids, new video games, all those things might have an uptick in sale with this uh, current crisis going on. And you know what, if people have discretionary income to buy puzzles, that's a lot different than necessities like diaper and formula. My brother was saying that uh, in these stores, they were starting to see formula be hoarded by people because they were worried that there'd be a shortage of formula. And there is going to be shortage of things because as people aren't going to work, things aren't going to get produced or there might be hangups at the border, getting things over. Anyhow, that was a long ramble on that one. We'll move on here. Okay, so I didn't get anything at Bye Bye Baby. Got $50 worth of stuff at Tuesday morning. Went down to Michael's. Didn't get anything at Michael's. I scanned some yarn. There was some yarn that was sort of profitable, but I don't know. It just, it wasn't very much, etc. 
I'm getting spammed with messages right now. I'm gonna have to wrap this up and check my messages and then scan bras because now my mother, my brother, and my husband have all texted me while filming this. Of course, the five minutes I take out of my day to talk to y'all. Didn't get anything at Michael's, but there were other parents in there getting those types of items, getting uh, things to build jewelry or slime kits, puzzles, games, things like that. <laughs> These guys. <laughs> Jeez, don't get hit by the truck back there, people. So, didn't get anything for resale there. Then I went into Burlington, spent $175, finally got some stuff to sell. It's been a really long, rough day, and that's what I'm going to show you. I want to pull out the bras that are not in the gated categories, like Bali, and show you what I'm buying and show you a couple of good ones there. So, let's do that together. Hello, guys couple things have changed. The audio for the recording that I did in the car for all these bras did not go through, so I went to go put up videos today and uh, didn't have any audio, so it was, it was terrible. I need to refilm it. So here we are on Monday morning refilming the bras that I bought on Saturday, and a lot of stuff has changed with the coronavirus, including it looks like the online school my daughter's at is going to shut down restaurants, bars, most public areas, if not all in the Seattle area, have shut down and now it's spreading across America. A lot of places are shut down and every time I turn on the news, something more is shut down. So what it's meant for me is while I was okay being safe and sound on Saturday, my thoughts have now changed to not doing so much RA anymore, but going and focusing this week on wholesale and online, just anything to not leave the house from, from now on until, until the authorities have said otherwise. What did it do? Oh, it scanned something. So anyhow, I'm refilming this section. Um, everybody's at home this week. My husband is going to go into the office for, while it used to be two days a week, it's now half a day tomorrow is the only uh, allowance he's allowed in the office. And my son is out of school for a couple of months here. So things are just crazy town, but we're going to go focus and I'm going to scan these bras with you, show you why I bought them. And then uh, I'm going to be focusing again on probably online arbitrage for the rest of today. Still doing a lot of cross-posting and whatnot. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, I want to go through kind of the brands, what the prices were, etc. Let's see if I can get... This was $5.99 and it is a Hanes Ultimate. I like Hanes. Hanes has been very good to me. If you are looking to get ungated in Bali, you can go to Haynes Business to Business and do a wholesale order and sign up there if you are interested in... Why does it say? Oh, it's saying to log in. I don't want to log in. My phone's kind of reset over the weekend and whatnot. This is $5.99. Everything should still be set in because I didn't do any scanning yesterday. Yesterday we stayed home uh, and just kind of watched the news and had a day at home and kind of came up with a... <laughs> like somewhat of a plan, but I feel like all our plans need to be very fluid and ever-changing. Okay, so this was $5.99, going to net $8 on this guy, 140% return. So everything's going for it here. We don't have any FBA competition. We've got a good buy price. We've got a good return. I've got lots of margin to work with. It's 190000 in fashion. Fashion overall, the top 1%, goes up to a million ASINs. So fashion's a huge category. In fact, I believe fashion is bigger than books by a hair. So depending on how big the category is, your top 1%, top 5% is going to change on what that sales rank number equates to. Okay, now I know I've had people ask me if I haven't said it in the video, I am scanning with Scottify 2. You get it through Inventory Lab. All I'm doing is I'm pressing a little barcode button down at the bottom middle of the screen. If, at the store, if I need to check restrictions, I usually have the restriction button on and it would be a red button to check restrictions. And I've also mapped Keepa. If you pick the research button, you can look and apply for, you could apply for approval through the Amazon restrictions, uh, which is third from the bottom if you're looking at my screen here. And then the Keepa graph I have linked up and you have to do that through Inventory Lab. They have a really easy way to do that. Just so you know, if you haven't done that yet, very, very simple. Okay, Liliet by Bali is a Bali bra, but it's not a gated category. So if you are 
thinking you're gated in Bali and you can't sell Bali, you might have been passing this up like I was, but really you don't need to. So this has an MSRP of $40 on it. I didn't show you the buy tag. The buy tag is $9.99. It's going for $37. Look at that rank, $43,000. I don't want to log in. It's going to spam me, isn't it? Things. I wish I had fixed that, but you know what? It took me about four tries to get this video up and going. So we're just going to roll with it because it's just been crazy. I mean, we've been going through like our pantry and our supplies, trying to make sure we have enough supplies. <laughs> and so video recording priority in terms of things in this crisis is not as high as it normally is. Okay, 43,000, love that rank, 9.99 buy, going to make $17 off it. This would be a great, perfect example of what I like. I like a lot of things about this. One, it's a flat pack, so there's very little packaging and whatnot going into this bra. It's a really good size, 36 double D. It's a good brand. It's a good color. Um, you know, it's got a lot of things going on on with it, like the minimizers are pretty good, underwire is pretty good for that size, etc. So there's a lot of good things going on. Yes, there is a couple of FBA sellers, but with a 43,000 rank, I am fine with that. I wanted to show you when I have Braza like a so. Let's see if I can do this without it scanning anything. I kind of, you know, fold, fold and tuck. Maybe look at, make it look a little bit nicer than what I have here. And then I'm going to put one of these air pillows in there and then put it into the poly bag with this facing forward. Make it look nice and neat. Okay, Playtex Secrets. Uh, another one that I really like. Are you going to scan it? Scan, scan. It is $7.99. And it does require a little air pillow, in my opinion. Now, it, you know, if you put the air pillow in or if you don't... Um, I don't think bras are quite as finicky as, say, if you were doing a baseball cap. Baseball caps, I would definitely want to have the air pillows in and some extra padding. The bras, bras tend to take a little bit more beating and still maintain their shape. Um, so, where am I going with this? If you don't have air pillows, I wouldn't, like, not do it that way. But I, if you have air pillows, I would stick them in there to help maintain the form and just that extra um, for your customers. Now you can make your own air pillows too. I've seen some creative ways on that. Um, okay, back to this one. Let's see here. At the $23 price, I'm still getting back 96% ROI. The other prices there are 38 and 42. So this is where you need to look at all the aspects there and where, where do you want this to go into. So normally, if it's 23 there, but look at that rank, that rank's pretty good. Um, what? Let's see here, 126,000 out of 100, and, is that 161 million? I'm not sure my eyes are following all the decimals there, or commas there. If I bumped it up to the $38 price, I then would be getting $19 back. So while I'm at the store, if I were going to put this into the my buy list right now, I would probably stick it at the $38 and then let my repricer, you know, work for me. Um, you know, you can always go in high and then have your repricer adjusted a little bit lower, but I would rather do that because by the time my stuff gets there, which is still a good week to two weeks out, that one for $23 is probably sold and gone. So if I put it in at $23, it would be flying off the shelves really quick, or I could maybe put it in at the 38, let my repricer get it and get a little bit more money and not leave so much out on the table. Hope that makes sense. Um, I'm running, let's see here, Be Cool Repricer right now. Oh, you scanned, uh, stupid thing. Which I am really, really liking so far. So if you are looking for a repricer, they're pretty good. Aura has been pretty good too. These are my favorite ones at Burlington, $5.99. I used to be with Channel Max for repricing. I am no longer recommending Channel Max, just so you know. Not for... Just, I didn't feel like the program worked as well for me and the interface was not as user friendly for me. Okay, so when I'm out shopping, these $5.99 prices are my favorite because if you do the three times rule, that's six, twelve, eighteen. I'm looking for an $18 or higher price. And I think $18 or higher is a great starting price for bras on Amazon. You're gonna find a lot of bras that are in that 18, we'll say 18 to 35 price range. So these are the ones that I'm really, really looking forward to scanning. This is a Warner's Easy Does It Wire Free. Oh, let's get up in the thing here. Really liking that as well. 
go ahead and oh well you know what I want to talk about this real quick so if you have a label like this I take off the MSRP when I'm bagging it uh, that's a recommendation from Amazon and then if this tag is going to cover the barcode I make sure that it's covering when I package it if at any point I feel like the barcode's going to sneak out and and be scannable by the peeps there then I will stick a blank label over it this is another easy pack one flat lay can't go wrong with flat lay stuff loving it so five nine to nine we said oh my gosh quit I'm not signing in I'm trying to click on the cost per unit up there to enter in the cost. So at five nine to nine, we get ten dollars of profit. So ten dollars in profit. Now, if you could find ten of those in an hour, you know that's a hundred dollars an hour of scanning profit. And then packing does not take that long. Shipping is not going to be that much. Yes, you have a higher return rate for clothes, but this is what I'm going after. So $24.63, Amazon is not on this listing. It looks like we've got a couple of um, things going on here. We've got $24, $36, and $60. So this is another one where you may want to hit, you know, click the $24.63. You may want to click the $24.74. You may want to click the $36 and then let your repricer do the work when you get it in kind of depends on you know however your business is set up and how fast you're going to get things in so really liking that okay playtex this one is $7.99 I do like playtex breathably cool will be great for the summer it's a 44d another good size on these types of ones uh, you can't quite see it but I look for snags and things like that. Every once in a while you'll get a string or a snag. Sometimes you can fix it, sometimes you can't. Sometimes it's a deal breaker, sometimes you need to return it if you do find a snag that, that you feel is uh, you know, ne returnable. $7.99, let's punch that in. Oh, Amazon is on this one. This one's not as fabulous as the rest of them were. I'm getting $8 back. I'm still able to compete with Amazon with that type of rank. I'm going to go ahead and, and keep this one and turn it in. When Amazon is on there, let's talk about that for a minute. I am now going to look at the rank a little bit more heavily. If Amazon was not on the, there, I would probably go up to maybe 500, maybe a million on rank. If Amazon's on there, then I really, really like the under 250. I like under 500 and it's just going to depend on the ROI, etc. If I was going to make $5 or less on this item, then I would go ahead and say no if the rank was not good and Amazon was on it. So I kind of play with those three factors and a combination of those three factors to decide whether I'm going to say yes or no. And you need to think about your factors and of course it's going to change based on brand, based on category, based on how much capital you want to put down um, and how much you're willing to hold on to something for. I'm okay if this bra sits for one to two months. If it was going to sit for a year plus, then maybe I'm not so comfortable with that. So you have to make those decisions, come up with some parameters for all of the things. And it's okay if your parameters are different for, for each category, right? We're going to have different, different, um, I was trying not to scan. <laughs> It's okay if you come up with different parameters for different things. I have I have several for for all the different items that I do. Okay, this is a sport, and I always am going to scan the maiden form sports because they're only six bucks. Uh, a sports bra for six bucks is a really good deal. Again, I'm looking at anything from eighteen to thirty five dollars. This one's going to go for nineteen seventy six, but if you look there. The inventory lab or the Scoutify has pulled the $10.50 because that's who has the buy box right now. This rank is crazy low. 39,000 in fashion is very, very fast selling. And it might be very, very fast selling because it's at the $10 price. But I, I, probably, I would think that the $20 price is pretty good too. The $30 price, the rank may go down pretty, pretty much at the $30 price. Now this one I know has been out there on the shelves. I have seen this particular bra at Kohl's, at Burlington, and I want to say one other store at least. So it's been out there. I know a lot of other resellers are scooping and picking it up. So if I had just took that $10 price, you may walk away from it. 
you can go look at the keep a chart see what it's selling at um, you know if it's at that ten dollar price it's a no-go but if we click the 1976 it will redo the calculations and boom you're making 660 off of this so knowing a little bit about everything and how it works can definitely influence your decision so i went ahead and i got that one i believe with summer coming up and uh, especially the gym shutting down right now you've got to think of this coronavirus and everything that's going to be impacted people are going to be buying online they're going to be buying clothes they're not going to want to go to the mall they might not even be able to go to the mall i don't even know if tj maxx and marshall's and stuff is going to be shut down during this time like the restaurants are it's uh, crazy crazy times and people are going to want to work out at home and buy their stuff and have it delivered hopefully that's my thinking you know i'm i'm not who who could have predicted all this <laughs> except for the guy who wrote the book apparently predicting it uh, which is nuts in itself 5.99 i think it's coincidence by the way i'm not into that conspiracy theory made in form another one couple ways to wear 5.99 it's got an msrp of 18.99 i don't know if you caught that when it scanned it if the MSRP is printed on there like that with the barcode, that's where I print out dark, dark labels and cover up that MSRP and that barcode. So that way your customer can't see, hey, it was $18. Um, you know, I'm, I paid $26 and I'm upset about it. The dark labels, I just use the Dymo software and I insert in a black square. You know, I color the inside black, color the outside black, make it as big as the label, and then print it out. $5.99. We probably don't need to put the prices in for everything. I think you all can do a little bit of math and, and cut cut $11 in half and know that that's going to be about 11 you know, a little bit more than $5. 84% return. There's nobody on um, Amazon right now. So... Because the rank is so good, and the only one you can get is $7.99, this is where I may go ahead and list it for $18.99, $19.99, maybe all the way up to $22.99. I feel like with FBA, you can go about $4 over the merchant price and be still pretty competitive. I know myself, I'll pay a couple more dollars if I can get things prime delivered than not. There is a price point that people are willing to pay. You know, maybe $10 would be a little too much. Maybe $2 is a little too short. Play with it a little bit. My go-to is about $4. So if this is $17.99, uh, I, I feel I could put this in for $21.99 and I'd be okay getting that price, especially with that type of rank. All right, this guy right here I wanted to show you because it's a new brand for me. Again, it was the $5.99 price. Oh, poop. It went ahead and scanned, didn't you? Well, we'll just talk about it there. Belle. And it's got a perforated barcode, so I may take that off. In fact, yeah, I'm going to take the barcode off, the MSRP off. It's or $5.99. The MSRP is $19.99. It is going for $16.99, so it's going to be a close one. And the rank is a little high, but it's a new brand for me, so I wanted to get one, check it out, and see how fast it sells. So it's Belle by Lilia France. I love Lilia France. They sell very, very fast. Lilia France does very well for me. Simply sexy, lightly lined underwear bra, underwire bra. There's two FBA sellers. It's an 82% return. It's got my $5 mark, just barely. I like to make $5 or more on, on a listing. Um, just to, you know, make it worth my time there. But this is kind of a new brand for me, new brand for you. We'll see how it goes. Cause, uh, yeah, it may work. It, it may not work. Here is another Bali or not Bali, uh, maiden form. And it has an MSRP of $44 and it had a little sticker. I don't know if you guys caught that. The sticker is sort of peeling off, but I will need to cover it up because it's got a little bit of sticker residue and goobers to it. But another $5.99, it's taken the $18.99 price. If we click the $24.70, it will repopulate. Did I click it? Yes, there we go. And da 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 da, $16.68. So if we subtract $6 from that, you guys don't need to see me click that in. You know where I'm going to make $10 off of this bra. I like it. 
I like $10 bras. I got several yesterday, so I was excited about that. I was having really, or I'm sorry, Saturday. I was having a good, I was having a good time scanning there and I uh, kind of wanted to go out today, but we've had to have a lot of discussions with the kids and a lot of things have changed. MSRP is 40 price is $9.99, like in this. Yeah, we, what the heck? Hold on. No. No, why didn't you scan? It should have scanned. No items found. Huh. Okay. I'm going to stick that one to the side. That is to be investigated. Um, not, typically, I don't put things in my cart that don't scan, so I'm not quite sure what happened here. There's all things of, all things of things, all things, all, oh my goodness. There's all sorts of things that could have happened to do that. The next thing that I will do is I will scan it with my Amazon seller app. And every once in a while, something will come up there that didn't come up here. But I was using my scanning, my KDP 200i scanner. So it should have come up. That's strange. Anyhow, I'll leave the tags on. And you know what? If the worst case is that it didn't come up and, and it was a, you know, mis, mis put into the into the cart, then I will return it. No big deal. Returns are not that bad. Olga. I like these guys. Let's see if we can find it. The before and the after. Um, the shape, shapewear types of ones are pretty good. I've been having good luck with them. The MSRP is $44. It is $9.99 at Burlington. So there we go. Here's a good one too. We've got pretty good rank. We've got no FBA sellers. We've got no Amazon on there. And if you subtract $10, that's a $25 profit item. I am really liking that. $25 profit bras are better than $10 profit bras, right? Bras, right? Oh, that's so good. I love that one. Fittingly fabulous Playtex. And it is $7.99. These ones are the ones that you've got to look out for snags and the satin ones you want to make sure is really clean and nice. Every once in a while I'll come across weird things. I've, I've come across makeup stains, stains that I don't want to know about, stains, and all sorts of things um, can happen. So you give it once over. When you're packing it, give it once over. And that's why I keep my little gun that will reattach tags if needed because I have taken a tag off. I've accidentally taken the wrong tag off and I've taken the Burlington tags off before and then found a stain or something and wound up having to re-tag it and return it to the to the store. Okay, so this one's pretty good too. Playtex, fabulous, something or another, 95%. It is competing with Amazon. Like I said, every, I will go head to head with Amazon I feel like they do share the buy box a little bit, but it's not, you know, it, it does factor into my decision, but so does rank and brand and packaging and everything else going into it. All right. So that is all that uh, I have to show you guys for scanning bras. And then I have the last bit of video. So I'm just kind of redoing this one and then sticking it in the video so that I can publish it probably tomorrow because I've got Friday's video that's, um, you know, being put together right now and then I'll do Saturday's video so I'll publish one today and one tomorrow so you guys hopefully will see this tomorrow and who knows what the heck's going to be happening by tomorrow um, like I said we've been having to talk with the kids because our talks on Thursday Friday about how we're just going to be limiting and not going into in we're not going to be going to any large gatherings the gathering size that they are talking about has shrunk from, you know, don't go to gatherings from 250 or more down to 50 down to, Hey, let's not go out at all. So by tomorrow, things could change even more. Anyhow, hope you guys are doing good and staying safe and have enough supplies to make it through this so that nobody's struggling. And remember to help your neighbors out too, if they need it. I've seen a lot of good, my neighborhood um, communities that I'm in with Facebook have all been pretty good. People going to the store for each other, sharing supplies, etc. And uh, making sure, you know, you only kind of buy what you need for this time frame, not, not you know, filling up your cart 
for just, you know, the sake of filling up your cart, which I'm not saying anybody here is doing, but, uh, I've also had to talk to my kids that not everybody who is filling up their cart is a doomsday hoarder. Maybe they have parents they're looking out for and everything. So let's not judge people either. Yes, there has been some people who, who are, you know, filling up their carts for reasons of fear or reasons that maybe we don't agree with, but there is also people out there who are helping out, um, the elderly because they cannot get to the stores either. So always ask before you judge. All right, guys, take care. And we're going to wrap this video up now. Maybe if I can hit the bot, the stop button. I ripped the bag, putting my bras all back in there. So luckily I don't have to walk far and the weather has cleared up. Hope you guys enjoyed scanning a few bras with me. That's what we were able to do today. Trust me, if you'd asked me like a week ago what I'd be doing today, it would have been completely different than what happened. And I have a feeling that the next few days are going to be very different as well. Um, I gotta go catch up with the news, catch up with the family, see what's going on. I know where my husband's cooking dinner, but I think he said he wanted to go do the grocery shopping tonight because of all the schedule changings and stuff. So everybody's being affected. Just you know, keep your patience with everybody. And try to be nice out there. Use hand sanitizer. I am currently using peach bellinis, which I love. I did call, there is a Bath and Body Works, but it's way kind of a little bit far. I did call to see if they did have hand, san hand sanitizer and they were out. They're going to get more in stock on Monday. Same with the toilet paper. A lot of people are like, we're out, we're, we're getting more in a day or two. So it's, it's not like production has completely shut down. However, my, my point of saying that, I need dinner. <laughs> Can you tell? I've had my blood drained and I don't have any food. I, I'm failing fast. Oh, and if you do need water on the road, Starbucks is still giving out water, but they're not refilling cups. If you bring in your own cup, they're not doing that. A lot of things changing. Okay. Where was I going with this? Oh, so if you ask when supplies are going to get restocked, a lot of people have been pretty open with, we're getting a new shipment in on X day. So if you are looking for necessities, that is a good way to go or, you know, to be informed. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I enjoy I, I wish I could have done more scanning in the stores with you. The parking lot, I don't know if you guys are catching this, but there, there's just cars everywhere. It's pretty busy for being in an area that we're supposed to be quarantining. <laughs> I don't think anybody's really quarantining very well. We don't, we don't follow in general. We don't follow direction very well. Just like wash your hands and use hand sanitizer and everybody's buying up toilet paper. I don't quite understand it. I mean, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm a little perplexed at the quantities that people are purchasing up, but what are you going to do? All right, guys, that's it for today. Take care. Have a great weekend.